Basic Agriculture. Chapter 4. Post-Production Handling, Packaging and Processing of Animal Products. Learning Objectives. After reading this chapter students will be able to state the importance and types of animal foods. Explain the differences in various types of milk. Know various processes involved in handling of raw milk. Differentiate between common milk products such as paneer, dahi, cheese, khoya, shrikhand, butter, ghee, ice cream and milk powder. Explain the processing technology for meat and meat products mainly chicken and mutton. Introduction. Foods from animals such as milk and milk products, meat, eggs, fish and other seafoods play an important role in the diet of human beings. Although, foods of plant origin such as grains, fruits and vegetables continue to constitute the bulk of the diets of most persons, animal foods are also gaining importance. Animal foods are energy-dense and excellent sources of protein, fat, minerals, vitamins and essential fatty acids. Animal proteins are considered high-quality proteins, superior to plant proteins as they contain balanced proportion of all the essential amino acids. These nutrients are an essential part of a healthy diet and, in some cases, foods of animal origin are the only sources of these nutrients. Widespread malnutrition in the developing countries, which is a manifestation of the deficiency of mainly proteins and micronutrients, can be combated by consuming the foods of animal origin. Since the foods from animal sources are perishable and spoil very fast, continuous access and adequate nutrition can be provided through these animal products by stabilizing them and making value-added products that will be more acceptable in the masses. In this chapter, attempts have been made to explain you about the various processed animal products with the underlying technological processes for their development. Milk and milk products milk may be defined as the whole, fresh, clean, lacteal secretion obtained by the complete milking of healthy milk animals excluding that obtained within 15 days before or 5 days after calving the such periods as may be necessary to render the milk. 146. Practically colostrum-free and containing the minimum prescribed percentages of milk fat and milk solids not fat. In India, the term, milk, refers to cow or buffalo milk or a combination of the two. Composition of milk milk is almost an ideal food. It has high nutritive value. The principal components of milk include water, fat, protein, milk sugar, lactose and minerals. The minor constituents include phospholipids, vitamins, enzymes, pigments etc. All the solids in the milk are referred to as, total solids, and the total solids without fat is termed as, milk solids not fat, MSNF, or solids not fat, SNF. The solids of milk further determine the approximate yields of other dairy products that are manufactured from the milk. The price of milk depends mainly on its fat content. There occur differences in the milk constituents obtained from different sources, Table 1. The factors that govern the composition of milk include of the animal genetic variation, species, breed, its physiological condition, season, stage of lactation, health of the animals, and other environmental factors, feed, stage of milking, interval of milking. Table 1. Average composition of milk from various milk animals. Animal. Water. Fat. Protein. Lactose. Ash buffalo. 84.2 6.6 3.9 5.2 0.8 Camel 86.5 3.1 4.0 5.6 0.8 Cow 86.6 4.6 3.4 4.9 0.7 Goat 86.5 4.5 3.5 4.7 0.8 Guinea Pig 82.2 5.5 8.5 2.9 0.9 .9, 87.7 3.6 1.8 6.8 0.1 6 Milk supplies body-building proteins, bone-forming minerals and health-giving vitamins and furnishes energy-giving lactose and milk fat. Besides supplying certain essential fatty acids, it contains the above nutrients in an easily digestible and assimilable form. All these properties of milk make it an important food for pregnant mothers, growing children, adolescents, adults, invalids, convalescents and patients alike. The National Institute of Nutrition has recommended a minimum of 300 grams daily intake of milk for children between 1 to 3 years of age and 250 grams for those between 10 to 12 years. Class and type of milk dairies in India have to market milk by standardizing, as per the various types of milk prescribed under Food Safety and Standard Act, 2006. These type of milk differ in their milk fat and milk SNF contents, Table 2. 147. Basic Agriculture. Table 2. Classes and Types of Milk. S. No. Type of Milk. Milk Fat Percent Not Less Than. Milk SNF Percent Not Less Than. 1. Double Toned Milk. 1.5. 9.0. 2. Toned Milk. 3.0. 8.5. 3. Standardized Milk. 4.5. 8.5. 4. Full Cream Milk. 6.0. 9.0. 5. Skim Milk. Not More Than 0.5. 8.7. Raw Milk Handling Procurement of Raw Milk is done from individual producers or farmer cooperatives. The milk collected from rural areas is transported in well-refrigerated vans under cool conditions to the chilling, processing facilities. Owing to high moisture and nutrient content, milk is prone to attack of various microorganisms. Bacterial growth is accompanied by deterioration in market quality due to development of off flavors, acidity etc. Therefore, to prevent attack of microorganisms and spoilage of milk, prompt cooling to low temperatures, below 5 degrees Celsius or application of heat treatment are mandatory. Milk processing milk is a highly perishable commodity and contains microorganisms after milking and their load increases with subsequent handling and storage. Therefore, apart from the cold chain to be maintained throughout the processing channel, milk is pasteurized so as to free it from pathogenic microorganisms. Pasteurization, the term, pasteurization, has been named after its inventor, Louis Pasteur of France. The International Dairy Federation, IDF SDT, 1983, 3.99, has defined pasteurization as a process applied to a product with the object of minimizing possible health hazards arising from pathogenic microorganisms associated with milk by heat treatment, which is consistent with minimal chemical, physical and organoleptic change in the product. Pasteurized milk, means that the milk has been exposed to either a high temperature short time, HTST, treatment to a minimum of 71.6 degrees Celsius, 161 degrees Fahrenheit, for a minimum holding time of 15 seconds or a low. Points to remember 1. Prompt cooling of milk below 5 degrees Celsius after milking is mandatory to prevent spoilage. 2. Pasteurization. With proper time temperature combinations is required to prevent growth of pathogenic microorganisms. 3. Index organisms should be taken into consideration to ensure proper pasteurization. 4. Once open from packs, pasteurized milk should be used as soon as possible. 148. Temperature long time, LTLT, -LT, treatment of 62.7 degrees Celsius, 145 degrees Fahrenheit, for holding time of 30 minutes, followed by packaging under clean and sanitized conditions. Holding milk at the prescribed temperatures renders it free from mycobacterium tuberculosis, the index organism for pasteurization and also has minimum effect on organoleptic quality of the milk. After pasteurization, the milk is immediately cooled to 5 degrees Celsius or below. In this process, pathogenic and spoilage organisms are destroyed. Under ideal refrigeration conditions, most pasteurized milk will remain fresh for 2 to 5 days. 
Once open from packs, pasteurized milk should be used as soon as possible for best quality and taste. Ultra high temperature, UHD, during the process of UHD, milk is heat treated to temperature of above 135 degrees Celsius for not less than one second and cooled instantly. The milk is packed in six-layer Tetra Pak packaging, which prevents the milk from spoilage due to sunlight, microorganisms and oxygen and retains all the vitamins and nutritional value of milk providing zero bacteria product, which needs no boiling. Milk standardization Standardization of milk refers to the adjustment i.e., lowering or raising of the fat or SNF of raw or pasteurized milk to desired value so as to ensure that legal requirements are complied with. In the process, whole milk is mixed with skim milk with known fat content in the required proportions that will result in milk having desired fat content. Homogenization Milk is an oil in water emulsion. To stabilize the emulsion and to prevent separation of fat from the milk, it is subjected to the process of homogenization wherein it is exposed to high pressures to break the fat globules present in milk to less than 2 micron size. This is carried out in a two-step homogenizer with pressures of 2000 PSI at the first stage and 500 PSI in the second. Common milk products. Cheese. Cheese has been defined as, a product made from the curd obtained from milk by coagulating casein with the help of rennet or similar enzymes in the presence of lactic acid produced by added microorganisms from which part of the moisture has been removed by cutting, cooking and or pressing, which has been shaped in a mold and then ripened by holding it for some time at suitable temperatures and humidities. Differences in manufacturing procedure have led to development of about 400 varieties of cheeses worldwide. The varieties may be classified on basis of their appearance, moisture content, mode of coagulation, ripening characteristics and chemical composition. 149. Basic Agriculture. The basic steps in cheese preparation include the following. Pasteurization and standardization The raw milk is subjected to pasteurization and may or may not be standardized for the relative proportion of casein, the protein in the milk, and fat content. Standardization may be carried out to eliminate seasonal compositional variation and to facilitate the production of desired and consistent quality of cheese, which complies with the specified regulations for fat in dry matter content. Standardization of milk may be achieved by removal of fat, addition of skim milk or cream to whole milk. Coagulation, or curdling, this is the curd forming stage, when the casein is coagulated. It is accomplished by the acid that is produced through addition of bacterial culture or rennet. The choice of starter, bacterial, culture determines the texture and flavor of the developed cheese. The lactic acid bacteria used as starter cultures belong to the general lactococcus, streptococcus, leuconostoc and lactobacillus. Rennet is another coagulant used in the cheese making, which is procured from calf's stomach and comprises of two enzymes, viz, renin and pepsin. It coagulates the milk to form curd. Plant enzymes obtained from Britannia coagulants, fecus and papine may also be used as coagulating agents. When the coagulum curd is ready, it is cut to release the entrapped whey liquid. Drainage the step involves removal of whey from the curd and making it firmer. The amount of whey retained in the curd after draining will determine the firmness and texture of the cheese. It is during the draining stage that the curd is shaped in a mold. The final moisture content in the cheese determines whether it is a hard cheese, having moisture 20 to 42 percent e.g. Cheddar, Cheshire, semi-hard cheese, having moisture 43 to 55 percent e.g. Edam, Gouda, or soft cheese, having moisture greater than 55 percent e.g. Cottage, Camembert. Salting cheese can be salted, 1 to 4 percent, from the outside, dry salting, or in a brine solution. Salt acts as an antiseptic, prevents development of undesirable microorganisms, improves the storage life of the cheese and speeds up the drying process and the formation of a rind. Ripening or maturing, it is the process of storage of cheese for at least 2 to 3 months at low temperature. During the process, the consistency, aroma, flavor and, if desired, the rind of the cheese develop owing to biochemical action of the bacterial flora contained in the cheese. The longer the ripening process, the less moisture the cheese retains, and the firmer and stronger tasting the cheese will be. Fresh cheese and processed cheese are not ripened. Cheese. 150. Ice cream. According to PFA rules, 1976, ice cream is the frozen product obtained from cow or buffalo milk or a combination thereof or from cream, and or other milk products, with or without the addition of cane sugar, eggs, fruits, fruit juices, preserved fruits, nuts, chocolate, edible flavors and permitted food colors. It may contain permitted stabilizers and emulsifiers not exceeding 0.5. Percent by weight. The product should not contain less than 10% milk fat, 3.5. Percent protein and 36% total solids. Starch may be added not more than 5%, with declaration on the label. To promote the ice cream industry, 80 ice cream makers from across India have formed the Indian Ice Cream Manufacturers Association, IMA, in 2011, which is registered in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. The basic steps involved in ice cream manufacture include the following. Mixing of ingredients. This involves the mixing of wet and dry ingredients continuously for uniformity. Pasteurization and homogenization. Pasteurization implies the high temperature short time treatment, HTST, given to the ice cream mix to render it free from pathogenic microorganisms. Homogenization of the mixes must to get smoother texture of the final product. Cooling and aging of the mix The mix is immediately cooled to 0 minus 5 degrees Celsius and is held in tanks for aging for 3 to 4 H. The process of aging helps in proper hydration of the dry ingredients, improves the whipping capacity of the mix and ultimately helps in the improvement of the body and texture of the final product. Freezing after aging, the mix is frozen in continuous freezers. The function of this process is to freeze a portion of the water in the mix and to incorporate air. Color and flavor are added during the freezing process. The volume of ice cream obtained in excess of the volume of mix, expressed as percentage, is usually referred to as the overrun. The increased volume is composed mainly of the air incorporated during the freezing process. In packaged ice cream, the overrun may vary between 70 to 80 percent, whereas in case of softy, it is between 30 to 50 percent. Hardening when the mix leaves the freezer, it is in half frozen state. The semi fluid consistency of the mix is similar to that of soft ice cream. It is hardened after packing in suitable packages at temperatures up to minus 18 degrees Celsius or below up to 12 H. 151. Basic agriculture. Storage during storage, the temperature of the room is maintained at below minus 25 degrees Celsius. The doors of the storage room should not be opened too often to prevent temperature fluctuations and to maintain the product quality. Milk powder. Milk powder is a product made by evaporation of milk followed by spray drying. Besides reducing the bulk, the product is relatively shelf stable if packed and stored under proper hygienic conditions. Milk powders find application in confectionery, soups, desserts, etc. Whole milk powder is made from whole milk standardized to give a fat content of 25 to 28 percent in the powder. The standardized milk is preheated at temperatures above 72 degrees Celsius that destroys bacteria and inactivates enzymes. In the evaporator, the preheated milk is concentrated from around 9.0 percent total solids content for skim milk and 13 percent for whole milk, up to 45 to 52 percent total solids by boiling the milk under vacuum at temperatures below 72 degrees Celsius. Evaporation of the milk prior to drying is done for reasons of energy efficiency as it is far cheaper to evaporate the water than to spray dry it. Spray drying involves atomizing concentrated milk into a hot air stream, 180 minus 220 degrees Celsius. 
By controlling the size of the droplets, the air temperature, and the air flow, it is possible to evaporate almost all the moisture while exposing the solids to relatively low temperatures. Spray drying yields milk powders with excellent solubility, flavor and color with moisture below 5%. Another method of drying is roller drying, which involves direct contact of a layer of concentrated milk with the hot surface of rotating rollers or drums. This method is not used often because of the adverse effects of heat on milk components. Heat often causes irreversible changes such as browning reactions and protein denaturation. The roller drying process results in more scotch powder particles and poorer powder solubility than spray drying. Milk powders are hygroscopic and readily take up moisture from the air, leading to a rapid loss of quality in caking or lumping. The fat in whole milk powders can react with oxygen in the air to give off flavors, especially at higher storage temperatures, greater than 30 degrees Celsius. Packaging is chosen to provide a barrier to moisture, oxygen and light in order to maintain the quality and shelf life of milk powders. Whole milk powders are often packed under nitrogen gas to protect the product from oxidation and to maintain their flavor and extend their keeping quality. Bags generally consist of several layers to provide strength and the necessary barrier properties. Prolonged exposure of milk powder to direct sunshine at elevated temperatures, greater than 40 degrees Celsius should be avoided to maintain quality. 152. Indigenous milk products. Paneer. Paneer consists mainly of acid-coagulated milk solids and is used extensively as an ingredient in many cooked vegetable preparations in northern India, Pakistan, Afghanistan and Nepal. It is produced at both small scale and industrial level. Cow, buffalo or mixed milk may be used but buffalo milk is preferred. An industrial scale process for paneer making has been developed by the National Dairy Development Board, NDDB. In this process, milk is heated to 85 degrees Celsius and pumped to a cheese vat and then cooled to 75 degrees Celsius. Citric acid solution is added and mixed with the milk to form a coagulum. The curd coagulum is left to settle for 10 to 15 minutes without agitation. The watery liquid, known as whey, is drained off. Curd is filled into hoops lined with muslin cloth and pressed for 10 to 15 minutes at a pressure of 3 kg per square centimeter. Pressed curd blocks are placed in pasteurized cold water at 4 degrees Celsius for 3 H. The cooled blocks of paneer are cut into desired sizes, which are wrapped in vegetable parchment paper before being placed in HDPE or LDPE bags and heat sealed ready for sale. The yield of paneer depends on the quality of milk. It is generally 18 to 20 percent of the weight of the milk used for its preparation. According to PFA 1976 rules, paneer must meet the legal requirements of moisture, maximum 70 percent, milk fat in dry matter, minimum 50 percent, and the protein content up to 20 percent. The he. This is a yogurt-like fermented milk product made in India and neighboring countries. The sweetened concentrated form of the he consumed in Bengal is known as mishti doi. The scale of production ranges from household level to industrial scale. Cow or buffalo milk or a mixture of the two is used in its preparation. Milk is pasteurized and sometimes concentrated before addition of the starter, which is usually a portion of the previous day's dahi or buttermilk, which comprises of lactic acid bacteria. The product has a pleasant flavor and a clean acid taste. It has a yellowish creamy white color when made from cow milk and a creamy white color when made from buffalo milk. The body is firm but not hard and free from gas holes. The dahi should have the same fat and SNF as the milk from which it is prepared. The Bureau of Indian Standards has laid down the following specifications, IS, 7035, 1973, for dahi. Paneer. 153. Basic agriculture. Sweet dahi. Sour dahi acidity is percent lactic acid, maximum. 0.7. 1.0. Yeast and mold count per gram, maximum. 100. 100 coliform count per gram, maximum. 10. 10 phosphatase test. Whey. Whey. S-H-R-I-K-H-A-N-D. Shrikhand is a semi-soft whole milk product made from concentrated dahi with a sweet and sour taste. Dahi is placed in a muslin cloth and drained for 4 to 8 hours to remove the whey and produce a solid mass called chakka. Chakka is mixed with the required amount of sugar, condiments and flavor to produce shrikhand. An industrial process for the preparation of chakka and shrikhand has been developed by the National Dairy Development Board, NDDB, of India. The Bureau of Indian Standards has prescribed the following standards for shrikhand. Total solids, percent by mass, minimum. 58.0. Milk fat, in dry matter percent, by mass, minimum. 5.0. Milk protein, in dry matter percent, by mass, minimum. 10.5. Detratable acidity, percent lactic acid, maximum. 1.4. Sucrose, in dry matter percent, by mass, maximum. 72.5. Total ash, in dry matter, percent by mass, maximum. 0.9. Coliform count, per gram, maximum. 10.0. Yeast and mold count, per gram, maximum. 50.0. Butter. Butter is composed primarily of milk fat. The color of the butter varies from white to yellow. Yellow color, anato or carotene, may be added to the product to maintain uniformity. According to PFA, 1976, table butter should not contain less than 80% fat and not more than 3.0. Percent common salt. Butter is made from cream that is pasteurized at a temperature of 95 degrees Celsius or more to destroy enzymes and microorganisms. Cream for butter preparation is held aged at cool temperatures for about 12 to 15 h to crystallize the butter fat globules, ensuring proper churning and texture of the butter. From the aging tank, the cream is pumped to the churn or continuous butter maker where it is agitated, and eventually butter granules form, grow larger, and coalesce. At the end of the process, two phases separate out, a semi-solid mass of butter, and the liquid left over, which is the buttermilk. The buttermilk is drained off. After draining, the butter is worked further to improve its consistency. Salt is used to improve the flavor, acts as a preservative and increases the shelf life. The butter is finally patted into shape, wrapped in wax paper and stored in a cool place. As it cools, the butter fat crystallizes and the butter becomes firm. 154. Ki. Ki is 99.5. Percent milk fat. Ki is manufactured by either cream or butter. Cream from milk is churned into butter followed by conversion into ghee. When starting the preparation process from butter, the cream is placed in a metal vessel and melted at low heat. Then it is boiled to about 110 to 120 degrees Celsius with constant stirring over a low fire to evaporate the moisture and prevent scorching. There is profuse effervescence along with a crackling sound in the initial stages of boiling. When all the moisture has been removed, further heating is fully controlled till the end point of occurrence of second effervescence. This is accompanied by browning of the curd particles and development of the typical ghee flavor. After the residue has settled down on cooling, the clear fat is filtered into plastic pouches containers. The color of cow ghee is deep yellow while that from buffalo milk is white with a characteristic yellowish or greenish tinge. It has a pleasant cooked and rich flavor. The taste is usually characteristic of the milk fat. In India, grading of ghee has been made through the Agmark ghee grading scheme initiated by the government of India in 1938. As per Agmark standards, ghee should have moisture, maximum, 3%, free fatty acids, as oleic acid, not more than 1.4. For special quality and not more than 2.5. For general quality, koa, koa or mava, is used as a base material for a variety of Indian sweets. This product is obtained from cow, buffalo or mixed milk by continuous thermal evaporation of milk to 65-70% to 70 solids in an open pan with simultaneous stirring and scrapping. A five-time concentration of milk is normally required for the production of koa. 
Cow milk usually yields 18% of coal. The yield from buffalo milk is usually 20%. It has a uniform whitish color with just a tinge of brown, a slightly oily or granular texture, and a rich nutty flavor, which is associated with a mildly cooked and sweet taste due to the high concentration of lactose. Buffalo milk is preferred for coal making because it yields a whiter product with a soft, loose body and a smooth granular texture, which makes it suitable for the preparation of high-grade coal sweets. Coal is preferred for the preparation of various sweets especially, gulab jamun as it gives a grainier texture to the product. Legal requirements state that coal contains a minimum of 20% milk fat. The Bureau of Indian Standards has laid down the following specifications for coal is 4883, 1968, moisture, maximum, of about 28.0 percent by weight and fat, minimum, of about 26% dB. Coal is classified in three major types with, depending upon the specific use of spindi, nap and denadar with the following compositions. Beda sweet prepared from coal. 155. Basic agriculture. Type. Fat percent, total solids, percent, specific sweets prepared. Pindi. 21 to 26. 67 to 69. Buffy. Peda. Tap. 20 to 23. 56 to 63. Gulab jamun. Pantua. Denedar. 20 to 25. 60 to 65. Kalikan. Keeping quality of packaged coal at room temperature is low and therefore refrigerated storage is recommended. Processed meat products. Meat is an important livestock product, which includes all those parts of the animals that are used as a food by man. It is a highly nutritious food with abundant high quality protein, B-complex vitamins and minerals. It is a highly perishable commodity and sanitary conditions and utmost hygienic measures are necessary to safeguard the quality of the meat products. To cater to this need, Meat Food Products Order, MFPO, was promulgated in 1973 under the Essential Commodities Act, 1955. The order, now under the umbrella of Food Safety and Standards Act, 2006, aims at maintenance of sanitary conditions in the slaughterhouses, ensuring proper antimortem examination, post-mortem inspection of carcasses, in-process inspection and final product checking. India about 16% of world's livestock population produces only 2.2% of world meat production and average meat consumption as low as 5 kg per annum. It produces about 68 lakh tons of meat utilizing about 10 crore meat animals such as cattle, buffaloes, sheep, goat and pigs and 21 crores poultry. Chicken. Chicken is the major species of poultry in India. The top 5 meat producing countries include USA, China, Brazil, Mexico and India. India's share in world chicken meat production is about 3.3%. It is marketed in ready-to-cook forms i.e. with the removal of head, feet and internal organs, dressed chicken. Before slaughter, birds are kept starved for about 12 hours to ensure that their guts are empty, which helps in a cleaner process. The birds are made unconscious by stunning them with a blow on their heads. To facilitate complete bleeding, the jugular vein is slit and the birds are hanged upside down for about 3 minutes. The birds are then scalded in hot water at temperatures of about 60 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. This helps to loosen the feathers which are picked. Points to remember 1. Only healthy poultry should be processed. 2. There should be abundant supply of portable water. 3. Great care should be taken during evisceration. 4. Eviscerated carcasses should be chilled as soon as possible. 5. Personnel, hygiene, and constant cleaning of equipment should be taken care of. 156. Mechanically, the defeathering process is followed by cutting and removal of feet and head. Evisceration is done to remove all the internal organs, which is performed by cutting open the gut. The inedible viscera consists of the spleen, esophagus, lungs, intestines, and reproductive organs. Inspection of the carcass is also performed for signs of disease, which renders the carcass to be rejected. The eviscerated birds are washed thoroughly with water so as to reduce the microbial load. The carcass are rapidly chilled below 4 degrees Celsius to preserve meat quality and keep it tender. On an average, 75 to 80 percent of the live animal weight is retained in the carcass. This amount of live weight retained in the carcass is known as the dressing percentage. The dressed chicken is then graded, packed and frozen at minus 23 degrees Celsius to minus 18 degrees Celsius. Properly packed and frozen chicken can be stored safely for about 9 months. Mutton. Mutton is the meat that is procured from mature sheep. India is the largest exporter of sheep and goat meat to the world. The country has exported 22,608.94 MT of sheep and goat meat to the world for the birth of ours. 694.10 crores during the year 2013-14 with the major exporting nations United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait and Oman, APEDA, 2015. Meat processing from sheep involves the following steps, fasting, stunning, bleeding, singeing, scalding. Eviseration and inspection. Sheep is collected in the yard and they are generally fasted for a day to reduce the amount of intestinal contents. They are stunned using an electric shock, after which they are bled. Bleeding is carried out using a knife by making a deep cut at the angle of the jaw, which severs all the major blood vessels in the neck. As soon as this cut has been made, the sheep is hung by the hind legs and allowed to drain for a while. Before being processed further, hair is removed from the carcasses, by scalding in hot water followed by scraping. Carcasses are then singed to remove any remaining hair. After dehairing, the carcasses pass to the evisceration area, where the stomachs are opened and the viscera comprising of the heart, liver and lungs are removed. The carcasses are then the headed and split along the backbone. Finally, the carcasses are chilled rapidly overnight before the subsequent processes of cutting and fragmentation are carried out. The carcasses may be cut into desired portions, vacuum packed and frozen so as to retain their freshness and quality. Mutton. 157. 